helped to overcome anxiety for young men and men of all ages that are struggling in their life right now and they're stuck in a rut. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name's Jonathan. I'm a confidence coach for men. I've been coaching now for over 10 years. I've coached thousands of clients. I've sold thousands of pounds worth of coaching. It's my passion. I love it, despite it being very challenging. And I've had this YouTube channel for over 10 years now. So subscribe if you want to increase your confidence, lower your anxiety, and live more of a purposeful, meaningful life. So during the time I've been coaching, I've met so many different people from different walks of life, from literally all around the world, different sh shapes and sizes, different predicaments. You know, the one common characteristic that I've learned from working with people that uh, enables you to overcome your anxiety and live the life that you want, one word, it begins with C, and the word's commitment. Clients that I've met, unfortunately, that haven't been committed 100%, they don't, excel, uh, they don't excel further enough, and there's nothing I can do about that. A coach can only take you as far as you're willing to go. If someone's not committed, then know how much motivation uh, that I share with you, or inspiration, or education, or my story, my strategies, my teachings, it's not going to make a difference. So. The first thing that you need to do today, if you're really committed to overcoming this, you need to make a commitment of yourself. It's got nothing to do with me, your parents, uh, society, school teachers, friends, uh, bullies from the past. You've got to make a commitment. You've got to hold yourself accountable and stop being a victim and stop blaming because uh, that will just disempower you. And you've got to say, right, I'm going to make a commitment and I'm going to make a stand that I'm going to fight this anxiety. I'm not saying that you've got to face all your demons and monsters and fears in one day. No one's expecting that. But as Les Brown said, you don't have to be great to get started, but you've got to get started today to become great. So why don't you just start off by facing the things that you can manage that are difficult, but they are manageable. What that will do is that will give you a feeling of relief. That will give you some confidence. It's not going to give you massive amounts of confidence to start with, but it's going to give you something. And that's going to be better than nothing. Once you've got that something, that relief, you made that progress. For example, if you're a guy that was like me 14 years ago, that couldn't come out of the house, that didn't want to make eye contact with people, that didn't feel comfortable speaking and walking in public, just going down to the local supermarket, buying some groceries and just saying, hi, thank you, have a great day, bye. That's a really big deal. Don't underestimate the power of doing small, simple, practical things. Because small, simple, practical things that are practiced for six months will end up to big things. So basically what I'm saying is, the way that you build a confidence and overcome your anxiety is by facing your fears and building up the tolerance and the self-esteem and the courage and the character, the discipline, the accountability, the wisdom, the education, and the motivation and the enthusiasm to want to keep going. So that's why I said, I'm so excited and passionate about my new one year program or 12 month anxiety program which is designed only for 5% I would say of people that follow me because the 95% sorry the the 80 yes the 95% are not going to do it they're not going to do it because it's a big investment both financially mentally and emotionally but the ones of you that are really committed and this this means everything to you from your heart and if you feel the connection with me and you trust me and you want to work with me and you've seen my credentials and my reputation and how many people I've helped and I'm living proof of, of someone who's overcome their anxiety and is, is no better or worse than you. I'm not better than anyone and I'm not below anyone. I believe in myself 100%. And the Lord gives me the faith and the strength to believe in myself and the way that my parents have raised me, the values have given me the strength and just my own experience, you know, my own unique personality. So if you're committed, You'll stay on this video, you'll hear me out. If you want to um, inquire as to whether you are suitable for my one year program, send me an email in the box below. I'm friendly, I'm respectful, I'm easy going. I'll be honest with you, I'm very straightforward. There's no nonsense for me. So I don't do small talk. I treat people how I want to be treated. I'm very straightforward. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I'm not everyone's cup of tea and, and I'm fine with that. But the people that will resonate with me and respect me, you will, you will appreciate it. You'll like someone being straight with you. I don't lie to my clients. That's one of my principles. I don't lie to my clients. My clients don't pay me a lot of money to lie to them. They pay me a lot of money to tell them the truth. I tell them the truth about the potential I see that they've got in them, which everyone has 100%, 150%, but I also call them out on their bullshit, on where they're slacking, where they're not disciplined, where they're not pushing themselves. 
where they're making excuses, where they're having victim mentality, where they're blaming everyone other than themselves, where they're not trying hard enough, where they're not working smart enough. I call them out on that. Um, they give me permission to do that. And if people don't like that, then it's not going to work. We can't have a, a mentor-student relationship. It's not going to work. You'll have to find someone that is going to accommodate your ego, your personality. So I'm not in the business of pleasing people. That's not what God made me, made, made me born to do. I'm in the business of changing people's lives, men's life, who were like myself 14 years ago, had this anxiety problem and they can't move forward in life. It's gotten paralyzed in every area. I understand, I come from that place. I come from a place of wanting to kill myself, but then being afraid to kill myself, but then being terrified of living, because 14 years ago I suffered with panic attacks every day. I thought I wasn't worth very much. I couldn't really go out and keep jobs. I, wanted, I, I was a hard worker, but I was just afraid of people. I weren't comfortable. I didn't like discomfort. I was petrified of failure. I was petrified of stuttering, getting awkward stammering. I was so afraid of being hurt that I didn't take any chances in life. And that was detrimental to my mental health, my self-worth. And I closed down all the opportunities in my life. And I pushed away anything that good that come into my life. And I accepted anything that was bad and negative. Because unconsciously, I believed that I didn't deserve to be loved and treated well. Because of trauma growing up and some bullying. Despite having a fantastic upbringing, great parents, but having that contradiction in that I had a great upbringing, I had lovely friends growing up, I did get a lot of love, I'm very grateful, but I had a lot of abuse, a lot of bullying, I'm sure the same as you. And a lot of that created this anxiety problem, both socially and in life. So obviously after going through that, I learned a lot about this problem. And luckily today I overcame it. You know, I, I went from a guy that was just in so much pain and was so emotionally uh, vulnerable and insecure I let people walk all over me, I let friends bully me, I let everybody bully me until I changed my, my mindset. I went down the boxing gym, they made a man of me, I learned about training. I didn't want to be a bully because I got bullied but I wanted to learn how to stand up for myself both physically if I had to and verbally and socially. Boxing toughened me up in the right way, it taught me how to have even more respect for people. Even though I had respect for people, my parents always brought me up, my father brought me up to have respect for women, obviously respect for elderly people, to, to be kind uh, to people. But my, my father also taught me not to take crap from anyone and if someone tries to bully you or intimidate you or, or take advantage of you, you put a stop to it. So boxing gave me the confidence and it taught me these Things. and that confidence enabled me to go on and get a girlfriend and get a relationship and go on dates and find the right girlfriend. That gave me the confidence to come outside of the employee mindset, the minimum wage mindset, which is nothing wrong with that. I really mean this from my I've got respect for anyone who does a hard day's work, but they weren't the jobs that I've wanted to do for the rest of my life. I wanted to do more. I wanted to fulfill my potential. I wanted to follow my heart. And it took me 15 years to have the courage to follow my heart because I cared what people thought about me. I cared more about the opinions of other people than I did about the opinion, the opinion of myself. But that all changed when I went out and I started to face my fear. So the way that I help my clients to build my confidence is exactly the same blueprint in how I built my own confidence. By getting them to set a long-term goal or vision of how they want their life to be. or something, It doesn't have to be exact, but something close, a, a, a long-term vision which is what we do on the one year anxiety program. And then we break that vision down into small daily goals. And the idea is we set a long-term goal in the future. We set a goal that's so big that we're, we're shitting ourselves because we don't think we can achieve it. And we've got all our self-doubt and voices. That's a great sign, it triggers that. That's meant to happen to begin with. And then we work towards building the belief that I can do it, I am enough. And not just I can do it, I am enough. We collect evidence to prove that we are enough. So we're not just saying positive things, we are living it, breathing it, and we are achieving the internal and the external results, whatever they may be. They're a bit different for each and every client that I mentor. I know for me starting out, all I ever wanted to be was happy and be in love and have a girlfriend and be in love. I'm, I was always a, rom I'm a romantic guy, I'm not embarrassed about that. I always was as a kid and I still am as a man. And I wanted to make a good living, I wanted to look after my parents, make my parents proud, give back to what they gave to me and live a successful life and be an inspiration. Not be a perfect person, I'm not perfect, none of us are, I'm not claiming to be uh, by, by any means, but I wanted to be great. I wanted to fulfill what I felt God put in my heart and that was to do a lot more than what I was doing and that was to be a lot more than what people said I would be and what they expected of me. The criticism, the judging, the bullying, the name calling, uh, all that kind of stuff. I went through all of it growing up. We didn't have much money growing up. You know, my parents worked hard but relatively we were poor. 
and I went to a school where people took the piss out of you if you had hand-me-down trainers and cheap clothes and I went through all that name calling people spitting on me punching me gangs bullying me intimidating me school teachers calling telling me that I'll be a loser when I leave school I went through all that and I'm not complaining about it. I'm actually glad I went for it because it made me successful today. It motivated me, put a fire in me, made me passionate, gave me a will to win. As Les Brown said, it gave me a hunger. When you're more hungry to succeed, it outweighs your fear of failure. Most people, they're not hungry enough, which another word is they're not committed. If you're committed today, I promise you, and you're a good person and you're trustworthy and you've got good values, I can help you to change your life in one year. I can help you to overcome your anxiety and achieve your goals in every area, whether it's financial, whether business, whether it's a relationship, a wife, a girlfriend, whether it's to be more social, or whether it's just a, just, just the mere sake of you going, Johnny, I want to work with you, and I want to write all my fears down, and over the next 12 months of you, I want to attack all my fears and face them, and I want to grow into a better person. I think that's what I'm trying to say through my story and my clients. Sometimes we struggle to articulate what we want, so we say money, we say a business and these things are okay don't get me wrong but what's more important is we want to have the self-esteem we want to feel good about who we are and we can only feel good about who we are by acting out these values and these habits we can't just sit down in front of the mirror and say I'm great I'm kind I'm wonderful I'm abundant I'm all knowing I'm all giving if we're not living like that in our life then that's just that's just nonsense isn't it so my clients, most of them hire me because they want, they want me to help them to physically confront that fear and build a different relationship with fear. I've said it before, fear and anxiety can be your best friend or it can be the worst enemy you've ever had. For the first 14 years of my life, I hated myself because I hated fear and I hated the way it made me feel and I hated the way it took away everything in my life. It took my freedom away both mentally, emotionally and financially. It made me feel afraid every day. It gave me anxiety attacks, made me stressed. I couldn't relax in my own apartment. I couldn't relax in my own skin. I could go to America, I'd go around uh, where I was born in Paddington, Chelsea, and I was terrified. I was carrying trauma from the past. And as I got older, I realized that my biggest fear was amongst, obviously the fear of not being loved and rejected and abandoned and shamed. But my ultimate fear was the fear of my potential. I was the fear of being this person, this man. 14 years ago, I was terrified of this man you see standing in front of you, this man in the suit. I was absolutely terrified of this man because this man represented accountability, confidence, integrity, again, not perfectionism, but greatness, being outspoken, being kind, not caring what people think, being relentless, being passionate, being driven, you know, living life to the full. And that intimidated me because the old me was so afraid of feeling the emotions of a man who was successful, as a man who spoke his mind, as a man who had good boundaries and didn't take shit from anyone, but was a kind person, an inspiration, a speaker, a teacher, um, all these things, I was afraid of it. And, and, and I had good reason to be. Everybody is until they face it. So there's no shame in being afraid. The problem is with allowing yourself to live as a coward is not facing it. So as you start to face it, you go, hang on a minute, I thought this was bad. But every time I face it, good things come to me. I make more money, I make friends, I help someone, I help someone else to make more money. Because when I was younger, obviously we, we're, all, we're all selfish to a large degree, all of us are, even kind people, but all I ever wanted to be was successful, uh, be financially free, and then I could give money to other people. Because growing up, when you're poor, you don't have much, so all, all you can really do is give, is be kind. And the little that we did have growing up, my parents always brought me up to share. So if I just had one pound and I was younger and I was with my friend and he was hungry, I'd give him 50p. And I'm so glad that my parents brought me up like that. And my friends were pretty much the same. Or if I had a sandwich and my friend was hungry, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a greedy pig and just eat and leave him starving. Even though I am hungry and I want it, I'm gonna break some off or half and let him and feed him. And the joy of giving makes you, I can't put it into words what it does. That's probably a lot where I get from my, from my faith as a Christian. So yes, I want to achieve and make all these things, and I did, but I remember, I remember saying, look, please God, if you help me to get a job and make money and to get a girlfriend and fall in love and get confident, I promise you I will give it back. I will help others. I'm not saying I'll help everyone because I can only do all I can do, but I'll help, and that's what I did, and I continue to do that. 
So for those people that feel like, well, it's greedy to make money, or it's greedy to want these things, well, you need to question that. Depends on the type of person you are. That's nonsense because you don't say that when you do your job and, and, and they pay you. You don't say they're greedy. You don't say that when you go into Starbucks. Or you may, do you understand what I mean? So it's having a, a better relationship. You know, you can be a great person and be completely broke, but you can be a great person and be a billionaire. People get too caught up in symbols and ideas and money. They don't educate themselves enough past the poor man's mentality. And I had to do that because I was the same when I was younger. I thought someone that had money is greedy. But all it was was jealousy on my part because I was jealous that they had money and I didn't and that hurt me. So as you change, you stop being jealous of people. This is all part of the work that I do. Through the process of taking action, taking responsibility, changing your mindset. So I'm here to say anyone can do this. I promise you from my heart, this is a very hard thing to do. It was extremely hard for me. It was hard at every step to a certain extent, but I was able to do it. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it. I know that's a cliche and people will say, well, I live my dreams, but I really mean it. I think people can relate to me because I think I am normal, whatever normal is. Some people you see them, I have it. Maybe it's a prejudgment on all of our part and you think, I can't relate to them. They're too good looking, they're too perfect, they're so talented, they don't have any quirks. But I think people can relate to me because I'm not perfect. I'm still good looking, right? I'm charming, but I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect speaker, but that's okay because I'm honest and I work hard and what I teach works. So you can achieve, you can achieve your dreams. It's possible, Les Brown's are right. But you've got to take responsibility. You know, you've got to you've got to come outside your comfort zone, and you're going to get rejected. You're going to get some bumps and bruises. You're going to get laughed at. Yeah, you're going to get judged, and you've got to grow past it. You've got to grow beyond it. You've got to grow thick skin, and you've got to realise that people that do that are ignorant. That they're not in a better place than you are. And eventually, as you get more educated and more confident, you don't take it personal anymore. Why would you take it personal if you're happy in your life and you've got great people around you and you know that the people saying that are broken-spirited people? The better thing to do, it's not that you, you accept that behaviour, but you pray for them. I just pray for them, God, I'm not able to do nothing with, with the current mindset that they're in. And they're coming at me with a very dark energy. So I just please protect me with my faith and pray for them that they do see a better way because I don't, I don't treat people like that. Most successful people don't. They're, they're too busy changing the world for, for good. You know, they're not going online trusting people. They're not talking ill about people. They're not putting hate on people. So these are things that need to change. And these are all things that I had to go through because I, I was hateful growing up as well at a certain point because people hated on me when I was a good person. They took advantage of me. But as I got older, I realized two wrongs don't make a right. Just because you get bullied and traumatized, it doesn't, it doesn't make it right then to go out and do that to other people that are innocent. You become a better person by using the trauma and the pain to become even better stronger in love not stronger in fear that just makes you more weak you think you're being strong but you're not anyway went on a big tangent there but it all makes sense so this is what you got to commit to this is the change the, the you, you got to change the way you think you got to change the way that you act for the most part you got to change the way that you live and you do this by taking the first simple step and like I said, you haven't got to be perfect to take my 12-month anxiety program. You haven't got to be the most talented person, even though you probably are these things underneath all your fists. All you've got to be is a good person who's committed, and I can definitely help you. So if you apply for the Zoom call by emailing me in box below, I'll get on the call. I'm not going to charge you for the original call, which will be 30 to 60 minutes. During the call, I can get to know you. You'll get to know me. I want to know what you're struggling with, and I want to know exactly what your goals are and what you hope to achieve with me mentoring you for 12 months. And I always say, if there's chemistry and it feels right, we're going to work together. If it doesn't feel right on, on either side, there's no rejection either way. We go our separate ways. There's no love lost. I still respect you. You can watch my videos. You'll find a mentor who's right for you, and I will continue to find the right clients that are right for me so there's no loss here um, I will say this though I'll be straight to the point uh, my my mentorship the 12-month program is 10k uh, it's non-negotiable I don't negotiate what I teach is very valuable and it's for people that are committed so if you don't have the investment please don't get in touch and waste my time because I'm really busy coaching existing clients and put and also putting out a lot of free content. So I have two business models that I run. One is expensive high-end coaching, which is when you hire me for my time, and the other is the free model, which is what you're getting now. So people that say, well, it's too expensive, I can't afford it, well, you're getting it for free. You're getting all the teaching in the video. The difference with the mentorship is you hire me in person. So now you've got me online for free, 
If you wanted to be with me in person, then you're going to need to pay for that. And to work with me for one year, the, the price for that is 10K. And as I said, it's non-negotiable. I'm working with a client at the moment. He signed up for my 10K and he's fantastic. He's one of the most committed guys I've ever worked with. He's been on 16 dates. He started his own coaching business. He's taken on his first client. He's, got his, he's helped his client. He's done public speaking. He's traveled. He's changed his life. He's improved his fashion. He's lowered his anxiety. He's, you know, he's getting better of everyone in, in his life. He's building relationships. He's building his brand. He's building his youth. He's just a fantastic young man. So there's a lot of committed people out there. And being committed is a choice. You know, um, being free from your anxiety for the most part is a choice and, and you know, making money is a choice and making an impact. But a lot of people don't believe that. And I didn't when I was younger. People used to say to me, you, you know, you could be anything you want to be, Jonathan. You've got a lot of talent. You know, you're, you're a good person. You're, you're caring. You're smart. But in my head, that voice would kick in and say, oh, you're, you're not good enough. You're, you're a terrible person. You're rubbish. You're useless. You're, you're an embarrassment. You're not good enough. Because I had the voice of the past, of the anxiety, the trauma. But obviously, after challenging the voice, um, I was able to eradicate that voice and create a positive voice. The voice that you see now and the voice that you hear now. So confidence can be gained. If you lose your confidence, it can be regained. So all these things come down to commitment. And on this channel, for those of you that are new, I, I, I break down how to build a lifestyle. And it's all simple things by going to the gym regularly, eating a healthier diet, having daily goals, cleaning your apartment, you know, building positive habits, socializing regularly, being honest when you interact with people and not being manipulative, which is what a lot of people do because they're afraid of being hurt, they're afraid of intimacy and they don't feel good enough and they don't know who they are. So that's the important values and practices which will just take you to another level in all, all areas of life, business, relationships, dating, family, colleagues, uh, etc. And especially on social media, um, that's what you can do. You know, gym, uh, dating, all the different um, components or different apartments that connect and make you live a better life and dressing smart and just being passionate and being grateful every day. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it here where, where there's, I've left it, I've, sh I've kind of ended this abruptly because I like to continue. As I said, I don't do YouTube once a week. I, I live YouTube. This is my life. I love it my passion. I don't go gym once a week, I live in the gym. And when I say that, what I mean is I'm 100% committed to what I do, otherwise I wouldn't do it at all. There's a great Irish saying, very simple, I love it. I think my dad told me it, maybe my uncles. If you're going to do a job, do it properly or don't do it at all. So that's the way I go about my life with stuff. And if I'm not passionate about something, then I just won't do it. There's no point being half-hearted, you don't get nowhere. And all you do is create suffering for you and people around you. So you watching this video, you can achieve your dreams if you're committed. And if you can't, for whatever reason, do it with me, that's fine. Do it on your own. Get all of the mentorship done. This is all free, man. This is all, all this stuff is taking me thousands, of, this is millions of pounds worth of free. But you know what's crazy? I don't take it personal. Most of you won't even appreciate this. You won't even realize the value of this because of where you're at. And I understand that. I'm not judging you. I've been there. But as you start to open your mind more and develop your confidence and expand your consciousness and push yourself and be a better person, you will appreciate the wisdom. You will appreciate the life experience, which doesn't come from textbooks or tweets or quotes or retweets. This has come from none other than my own life experience, trial and error, failure, success. And I've also learned from smart people, values, faith, and, and so much more. So I appreciate you coming on the video. I'll see you next video. And as always, if you want to get in touch with me about the program, my email address is below. Email me. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. 48 hours. We'll schedule the call and then we'll see if we can work together, right? I appreciate the support. You guys are wonderful. Fearless.